Okay. Hello and welcome to RedCamp Training Topic Sessions. Uh, my name is Patrick and I'll be here to cover uh, creating a new project in RedCamp. Uh, some of the points we'll be going through are choosing a project template to create an empty project or creating an empty project, uh, filling out the form for a new project, and RedCap license and use agreement. Okay, let's go ahead and look into RedCap. And just a note for any RedCap users, uh, you no longer have to apply for RedCap accounts. All current faculty, staff, students, and affiliates can now log into RedCap using their BCU EID and password. And if you are using uh, RedCap off campus, you will have to securely uh, connect using VPN to access RedCap. And link will be provided in the description below. And this is at go.bcu.edu uh, slash RedCap for the RAMS VPN instructions. Okay, and back into RedCap. To create a new project, you would go into the Create New Project tab. And then a little description up top will be RedCap license and use agreement. Uh, RedCap software is licensed to VCU, uh, HS, and VCU faculty, staff, students, and affiliates solely for approved research or approved uses within the scope of employment or institutional affiliation. Use for any other purpose is strictly prohibited. All users must comply with applicable federal and state laws and university policies when using REDCap. Violation of this license may result in civil or criminal actions as well as university disciplinary actions. And you as a REDCap project owner and or user agree to abide by the above license and use agreement and the VCU computer and network resource use policy. And you can always see this reminder at this link down below, VCU policy. Let's go and take a look and basically covers computer and network resources use, policy, policy statement and purpose, procedures, okay, and all users will usually go through this screen. If you are a non-VCU faculty, staff, student, or affiliate, you will see uh, this other page instead, and I'll go ahead and show that to you. Yeah. And this is for a non-VCU faculty uh, staff member. Uh, only VCU and VCU HS uh, message will pop up, reading that staff are able, if you wish to create a new project, you must ask a staff or faculty to request, copy, or create the project for you. Okay, and back to the RedCap accounts. All right, and first thing is to fill out all forms completely this, that are non -opt not optional. Let's go ahead and fill in the project title. I'll just put in as test. And you must enter a phone number as well. Let's just put it as 804-1234-56. And you will also need to fill in the bubble whether the project will contain data from VCU Health Systems, Electronic, Health, electronic uh, Medical Record System, Cerner Millennium. All right, and also whether the project will contain GEIDX, which is the VCU Health Systems billing system. and any protected health information. And if you are a bit fuzzy on that, you can always click on the link to view protected health information. And this is the HIPAA and research guidance, uh, just for understanding more about uh, PHI and uh, any of HIPAA forms and templates. Okay, and back into REDCap. And will the project also contain any social security numbers? And you can hit yes or no. And that covers most part of data description for your project. And for purpose of this project, we'll just put it as practice and just for fun for now. But 
depending on your top your uh, purpose for the project, it would be either operational support, research, quality improvement, or other. If you do choose other, you will need to specify. Okay, let's go ahead and put it as practice just for now. And any project notes, uh, which is also optional, and any comments describing the project's use or purpose for documentation purposes only. Okay, and before we move on to create an empty project, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and use a template. Just, and this is just a, a basically a, a pre-filled fields, uh, form surveys, and other settings, uh, such a, and we can. It's, it's uh, helpful in going through uh, like um, general features of REDCap, uh, such as piping or uh, longitudinal studies, uh, which uh, will be included in the link description in this video, uh, just in case you need to find more uh, detailed information about those topics. And uh, just going through some of the samples of uh, uh, the templates, there are VCU basic dem Demog demograph dem demography, uh, VCU classic database, uh, VCU human cancer tissue biobank, which uh, contains five data entry forms for uh, collecting and tracking information for cancer tissue, and there's uh, the longitudinal database, which is one arm, and the two-armed uh, longitudinal database, and those will be discussed more in the uh, link below on longitudinal studies, and there are VCU multiple surveys, classic and longitudinal, and just a description of uh, the classic format is uh, where each uh, data collection instrument is uh, used once for each subject or record. And for longitudinal projects, uh, it's um, each data collection instrument can be used uh, multiple times across uh, predefined time points, uh, such as uh, patient office visits. And there's an example of piping example, just to get a feel for uh, using piping in the collection instrument. And there's also VCU project tracking database, VCU randomized clinical trial, and VCU single survey, uh, which is uh, just a data collection instrument enabled as a survey, which contains uh, some questions just to give you a feel for the different field types. Okay, and let's go ahead and create an empty project just to get a feel for uh, what is in store. And usually by default, uh, creating a new project will be a uh, data entry form. It will not have any surveys enabled, and you will have to enable that for your project and your collection instruments if you would like to have a survey uh, project. And let's go ahead and create a project to see that. Okay, project is now created. Title is test. All right, and to enable your survey or enable your project as a survey, you would go into main project settings and enable your project as a survey. After doing that, you would also need to enable your instrument as a survey instrument as well. That would be in design your data collection instruments and enable your surveys in online designer and go ahead and enable that to enable your instrument as a survey okay. and we'll just leave it as default for now but more about survey and uh, survey options will be in the description below uh, for other training topics Okay, and let's go back into project setup. And let's go ahead and disable it again. Now that we've seen uh, how to enable a sur um, survey for a project. Okay, and let's just go ahead and uh, if we want to enable a project to use longitudinal data, we can always enable it at pro main project settings for use longitudinal data collection with repeating forms. And more on longitudinal data collecting uh, 
would be the optional modules to uh, if you would like to schedule use the scheduling module and here's a little t tell me more tip to talk more about longitudinal model and the scheduling module module can generate uh, schedules for your project calendar that are auto generated from project defined events uh, scheduling is only available for projects using longitudinal data collection. And that can also be enabled as well when you are plan to use scheduling for your longitudinal data collection form. And let's go back to Project Home to create another project for uh, you, uh, general use for like using the template. Go ahead and use Create New Project tab. And let's do that again. This time we use a, a template, test template. Okay. Right, and um, let's go ahead and do base PCU basic demography. Online designer to take a look at the uh, question formatting and uh, formatting of the fields and whatnot. Okay. And that's basically what a, one of the templates just the general idea of the template, uh, asking for first name, last name, street, phone number, email, uh, date of birth, age, yeah, basic, basic gist of a demography form. All right, and that basically concludes creating new projects in RedCap.